I've had quite a lot of people ask me about the Litchi app uh, and how you work it. So I thought what I'll do, I'll do a series of videos on the Litchi app, starting right from the beginning. So when you buy your Litchi app offline, uh, you load it up and you wanna know what's on the screen for us because it is a total different setup to the DJI, say Fly app or any of the other Go apps uh, that you get from DJI. So just bear that in mind as well. You also you have to pay for this app as well because it's a third party app. But at the moment, it works on nearly, nearly all the DJI drones. Now, I must say that it's not working at the moment with the Mini 3 or the Mavic 3. So just bear that in mind as well. And also, don't forget, when you download it, you can either have it on Android or iOS. Now, Android, <laughs> even though I always use Apple products, um, is supposed to be better for the Litchi app, mainly because when you put up the home screen, you're also going to get the navigation symbol, which you won't get if you got the if you use a, your, your Apple products or iOS, I should say. So let's just get right into it. Now, I'll just give you some idea of cost because I bought for both, both for Android and iOS. Um, it cost me twenty-one pound ninety-nine pence uh, back in the UK. And that was back in 2018. So I imagine it's probably still about 20 pound. So obviously worth checking it out as well. Now what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put up now, now I brought out my Android phone with me uh, and I'm just gonna show you the process of um, once you loaded it up, it's gonna ask you to set up an account, which is a good idea to set up an account. Now that, something else I've got to put across as well, guys, if you're gonna use the Litchi app on your brand new drone say you bought maybe a, uh, a mini 2 which you can use on the litchi app if you crash that drone and you got some sort of dgi cover on that it won't be covered guys so that's something else you've got to remember so if, when you lose your litchi app you won't be covered by the dgi um, free cover thing whatever it's called can't remember what it's called now <laughs> so so what I'm going to do today, I'm just going to show you, once you loaded up um, the app itself, the Litchi app onto your screen. Now I'm going to be using my Mavic Air 2 today. Um, it's a pretty simple process. Now, like I said, I've already got an account with them. So as soon as I turn on the drone. Now the other thing is as well, guys, what will probably happen as soon as you turn on your controller and drone, it's going to go straight into your Fly app. So what you've got to do is hit the Litchi app icon and it will go through that so I'll go through that process now so what you're seeing now is what I've got on my screen on my iPad you've got the Litchi app icon there so what I'm going to do I'm going to turn on the controller not forgetting of course to plug in the cable at the side there so turn on the drone controller that's on turn on the drone right now it's gone straight into the dji fly app don't worry too much about that because you can just take that off and you go hit tap the litchi app icon so it's gone straight in i'm going to get rid of the map for the moment because it's a little bit distracting and what we're going to do from the top left hand corner we're going to go around the screen and i'm going to tell you what they all mean so the first one little icon there that's your um, flight modes. And as you can see, you've got waypoint, follow. The home point has been set. Please check it on the map. And also, if you hear, the Litchi app's going to be talking to you. And it will be a slightly different process to your DJI app. Uh, orbit, pano, focus, track. You look, log into your account. And also, you can uh, screen record. Now, I've got a horrible feeling on the Android you can't do the screen record but I might be wrong on that so if we just tap the FPV again that will go so that's your flight modes the next one is your satellites now at the moment I've got 10 satellites the next one after that is your controller battery so my controller is 94% uh, now right in the middle you can see it there now is the GPS now the GPS 
if I was indoors, for instance, it would be like in atty mode. But when you're outside, you've got your GPS. That's what I would fly on. <laughs> now, also, if you notice, underneath that top bar, you see a green line. That's also showing how much power you got left in your drone battery. So just bear that in mind as well. Now, next to that, you've got, at the moment, it's got 100%. That's your uplink. Now, that's the strength of your remote controller, which is sending out a signal. Next to that is the downlink, and that's the strength of your vi video downloading signal. So, they're both at 100%, which is good, which is what I would expect, to be honest. Now, next to that is the battery. Now, at the moment, it's 95%. Now, if I tap on the battery one, uh, I'll get battery information. It tells you all about the voltage, the temperature, remaining power, total capacity, battery life, uh, how many times I've charged it. And, yeah, and I can show the voltage if I wanted to. But I'm not at the moment. So I'm going to knock off the cross there. Now, right in the corner, this is the settings. And it's a lot. I'm not going to go through everything, but you get the gist of it. Now, right at the top, uh, we're talking about units. Now I'm I'm a feet and, feet and inches man, but you've got metric, um, and that's up how are you up to you want to put it on. So we come back onto that. Then you've got map engine. Now I'm using when it means map engine, it means the map that you're using on there. Now I always use Google Maps, even though I'm using an Apple product. I don't use Apple Maps. I use Google Maps. And then you've got map type, um, and what map type means is. Do you want it to be a satellite? Now, satellite, obviously, it's going to uh, use up a lot more strength, especially around outdoors, and also if you're not even connected to the internet or something like that. So I'll keep mine to standard. Uh, and then we, we got to uh, show warning zones on your map, which is, I think is a good idea. Uh, and then we got two not to worry about. If you notice, you got um, use a map imagery for China, or calibrate map for China, those two do not need to be on. Not unless, of course, you're in China. And then we just carry on. You've got your um, streaming, if you want to go live streaming, language, obviously, whatever language you want to, to be in. Uh, it tells you the app version. Now, at the moment, I've got 2.142. Uh, and then it's going to give you all the information about that drone. Now, it's something else I've got to put across, guys. Always make sure that your DJI drone is up to date. Now, this app will not update that. So you've got to make sure that you have to go back onto your DJI app to do uh, software updates, firmware updates, battery updates. All that's got to be done on the DJI apps. This app really is all about just flying the drone. And then we go into uh, your altitude, you know, go home, settings for that. Now, to me, people keep saying, well, what settings do you use? I think it's up to you yourself on the settings that you want because it all depends on whereabouts you are. You might be in a built up area, you might be in a, uh, a mountainous area where there's lots of trees and that. Uh, then, it, then we got a uh, signal and then we got the gimbal. We can mess about the gimbal. I'm not going to go into all the settings and gimbal because there's so many videos out there about the pitch and those sort of things. And then we got the transmission, we got the camera. We can now the top one, especially if it's your first, your uh, a newbie flyer, that auto record I think is a brilliant idea. So as soon as the drone takes off, it's already recording. I think one of the biggest things that I used to find was um, I'm flying about and I forgot to press the record button. So good idea. I'm, I've been flying it enough now, and then we got auto stitch. Now it's to do with in software when you're taking the panoramas. Uh, and then we got the caches, and then we got grid lines, and we got exposure warning. Uh, the next one <laughs> is the speech. Now the speech um, with the Litchi, you can have everything on. You can have everything on. You can have feedback, altitude, distance, speed, battery, uh, return to home. Now the only ones that I've got ticked on mine is enable speech, and also um, about warning, return to home. And then at the bottom, you've got your C1 and C, uh, C2. But anyway, that gives you some idea um, what's 
what the setting's about. And you can go through those uh, as much as you like, really. Right. So the next one is the share option. Now, if you want to do live streaming, uh, you can do that. I'll, do, I'll try and make a video of that if I can. Obviously, next to it, you've got your VR. Now, your virtual reality. Um, this gives you that um first person view as they call it this is where the screen is split so you can get a pair of cheap fpv goggles and you can do that so i'm just going to come out and you can, at the bottom there you've got your settings exit at the top there okay so we're going back into the screen again so the next next one down guys is the switch so i can switch it from at the moment it's on camera and i can put it onto video and obviously below that at the moment i've got it on camera and if i wanted to do it on screen i can click on this the, the icon the camera icon it takes a photograph now next to it to the left if you notice is the gimbal now this is the gimbal pitch and i'll just uh move that up and down for you just to give you an idea so that's your gimbal pitch and then below that is the settings for the camera so you've got your camera settings and then we go you know you've got a list there um i will be doing a video on that as well about camera settings because i think that's important as well about you've got your exposure show your histogram photos settings video settings white balance the list goes on um and i think if you scroll down a bit more i think one of the most important ones is to me is your sd card format in it I, what I always do, guys, when I go out flying, once I've done a bit of recording, end of the day, once I've downloaded it onto my computer, I then format the cart so it's clear, and it's a simple process. You just press it, it's done. So then you know you've got a clean card to go out on the next, because you don't know how, much, how long you're going to be flying for, how much video footage, depending on the size of your card, obviously. Now I've got a card now between 32 and 64 gig now. 64, I'll be have to be filming a lot for that. Um, but 32, I think it's pretty big. But I always, like I said, that's that's my preference. What you guys want to do, that's up to you. So we, we click out of that. Now down in the bottom right hand corner is your map. Now as as I said before, I'm using Google Maps. This is my standard. Now the icon looks like a little red dart that's your drone and that's also showing the position of that drone if i move that drone about you can see it's turning right and that blue dot that's where i am so just bear that in mind as well now i'm gonna, I'm gonna remove that now if i go over to the left hand side middle we got auto takeoff now obviously i'm not going to do auto takeoff while i'm doing this but that's your auto takeoff you want but you can do it on your sticks now at the bottom left hand corner we've got your altitude we've got the distance and we've got the speed and that's it really that's all you need to understand it is pretty similar now, something else i didn't mention is at the top underneath the gps you've got uh the camera settings what i've got it set at is auto iso is on 100 uh, and you've got the ev and that, that gives you an idea of what the settings are for your camera. Today it's a really dull day. That's why it's on 100. Um, anyway, I hope you found that interesting. So that's just your first video introduction, really, to the Litchi app um, and the home screen. If you've got any questions, guys, because I've probably missed out something. Um, like I said, when you, when you download the app, it will ask you um, to open up an account. So... That's about it, really. Hope you enjoyed it. Now, the next uh, Litchi app video, I'm probably going to be start to show you. Um, we got way, waypoints. It's going to be a, a, a long uh, video. So we, what we'll probably do is we'll do the follow. They call it the follow. It's not the follow me. <laughs> so they have, have to get in these terms of Litchi. We'll do the follow. Now, it's a slightly different setup. And I'll be honest, guys, if you don't watch the videos on the follow you, you could probably end up crashing your drone because it's a different setup to the dji app so if you know it that's fine if you don't know it watch the video 
anyway as always hope you enjoy these type of videos give it a thumbs up if you love it if you don't love it get the thumbs down and as always i'll catch you on the next one <laughs> Thank you.